Hello, my friends. Today is June 11. Our topic is value of your tears. Value of your tears. Our devotion comes to us from Isaiah chapter 25, verse 8. He will swallow up death forever. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. The rebuke of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. My friends, medical people divide the tears into three segments. Number one, basal tears. Number two, emotional tears. And number three, reflex tears. But the entire Bible is talking about the second one, which is called emotional tears. My friends, is there any time you had decided not to cry, but could not control your emotions? Is there any time you did not want others to see you cry and went to bedroom or toilet to cry? Or is there any time Although you seem strong, yet burst in tears. Many times you cry because of disappointments. You cry when your precious people suffer. You cry when you pass through loss. You cry when you pass through pain and sickness. Also, you cry because of fear. But my friends, nevertheless, your tears will never be underestimated. My friends, Bible talks about tears in 482 times to assure you the value of your tears. And I would like to give you three places in the Bible out of 482 to help you to understand the value of your tears. Number one, Isaiah chapter 38, verse 5. God sees your tears. My friends, God is not blind to ignore your tears. You may be crying alone. You may think your pain is not understandable. But please remember, every drop of your tears are seen and counted by God himself. Number two. Genesis chapter 21, 18 and 19. God answers your tears. Your tears are very valued because God answers your tears. Your tears have value that God resolves your problems. God doesn't want to see you crying. God respects your tears in pain and disappointments. God will never oversee your tears. Your tears have value to bring God down to this earth. Number three, Revelation chapter 7, verse 17. God brings justice to your tears. You may be crying for your humiliation, for your loss, for your injustice to your rights. You may be crying because nobody understands you, but our God will bring justice to your tears. My friends, are you crying today because of an expectation? Are you crying alone because of failures and loss? Are you crying because of your present circumstances? Here is the beautiful prophecy in your life. From John chapter 16, verse 20. Most assuredly, I say to you that you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice, and you will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will be turned into joy. Hallelujah. Your tears has value. Remember, God sees your tears. God answers for your tears, and God bring justice to your tears. Let's pray. Dear Lord, Thank you so much that you are our God. 
Thank you so much for seeing our tears, answering for our tears, and bringing justice for our tears. Thank you so much, dear Lord, for your love and kindness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.